The way you can jump from topic to topic is remarkable. You ought to be studied. I have not heard of it. So I suppose the answer is no. Really? You kind of have the vibe going for you. Friendly ghost vibe. I am neither of those things. You have your friendly moments sometimes. Occasionally. And I'm not certain you aren't a ghost. You're awfully pale. You can float. Well, I'm certain that I'm not a ghost. Like I've said many times, you really do have a vivid imagination. What are you talking about? You're a grim reaper on a video call with me from the underworld. And you say I have a vivid imagination because I think you might be a ghost? Must you let it run so wild all the time? Stop it! <laughs> You're so condescending unnecessarily. And it, just, it doesn't make any logical sense for your condescending behavior. For it annoys you, it makes me want to do it more, bitch. Your behavior is certainly odd. I've never met another mortal like you. I doubt that. You've been online, right? Not that I've spoken to many mortals, but you get the idea. I think this is supposed to say bullying, and it says bullying. What can I say? I thoroughly enjoy bullying you. I like seeing you flustered. It makes me happy. You're stupid. Just like that. Yep. Small brains are so easily amused. Thanks. You aren't welcome in the slightest. Don't you want to know what I imagine about you with this wild imagination of mine? Ooh, ooh, no! I didn't mean it like that! Relax. Lean back again. Relax, dude. It's not like that. It's not that deep, bro. He's my little blushing maiden? I am not a maiden, nor am I blushing. You are obviously blind. You are a gaslighter, my friend. Sure, you never blush. Of course. Bat your eyelashes at him. Ugh. Gross. Stop that. Are you sure you don't want to know? I am intrigued. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <sighs> but you also look rather pleased with yourself right now. That makes me not want to know. <laughs> You're missing out then, little reaper. Have it your way. Happy K. You got it. But you would have liked it. You know, you've come a long way. Stop! You seem less edgy than when we first met. I'm yelling at myself. I'm yelling at my character that I'm playing as. Oh, gosh. I was never edgy. I am deaf. You were an edgelord. There it is. Still, you say stuff like that a lot less. I don't believe I've changed all that much. I am the same as always, nothing has changed. Nope, not my feelings or anything. Not at all. Wait, you can't lie. Wait, wait, he can't lie. How come he can say that? I don't believe anything you say. <laughs> Maybe it's because we're friends now. I don't see you as a friend. Oh, ouch. Ah, shot through the heart. Oh, okay. That kind of hurts, bro. Yeah, say it right to my face. Shit. You misunderstand. I thought it was pretty straightforward. Fuck. <laughs> I thought you were more perceptive than this. I have been flirting with you for days! <laughs> oh shit, no, stop! Uh, I've never noticed. You aren't that stupid. I'm just being- I'm super optimistic. And my optimism was telling me that you're just not- You, you know, you're just a normal dude that's just like bored at home and wants a friend. That was my optimism speaking. Uh, <laughs> uh, thanks, I guess. It's not something I expected. I could never have expected this. It's not something I chose. It's it's a terrible idea all, all around, honestly. To not want to be friends? Stop talking. I... I enjoy your company. I really enjoy it, okay? I enjoy it too much, way too much. Why me? Why do I have to feel like this? It's unfair, honestly. I have done nothing but follow the rules up until now. I have been a good reaper, and now my heart tells me to throw it all away. What are you talking about? What do you mean by too much? I didn't expect to, to feel like this. I feel so strongly. You were supposed to be just another job. I was supposed to be just another job. You don't think like that anymore? Your soul is one I must collect. There is no way out of it. It is my job as a reaper. It's a task I must fulfill. But I, I find myself wanting to disobey. To break all the rules I have so carefully followed until this week. So why don't you? If I do, they'll just send someone else. 
I'm easily replaceable. I am one of thousands. See, this doesn't line up either. You said you were the best. If you're the best, you're not easily replaceable. Besides, I know you're not the best. I'm the best. I was you once, and I did my job so well that I took over the whole place, and the world became a utopia. That's how great I am as a reaper. You liar. You were never good. You are replaceable. You were just one of the thousands. Oh no! You're not replaceable to me! Okay. I mean, we are friends now, right? I mean, I consider somebody a friend once I hang out with them outside of, you know, work or school or places where you're forced to be around people. You came to my house. <laughs> I did not consent, but, um, you're not replaceable to me. It's not what I'm trying to say exactly. Okay, what is it you want to tell me then? What I'm trying to say is that I, I don't want to be friends. I don't want that at all. I found myself wanting to be selfish because I want more, more from you. More than friendship. Shit. That's, shit. <laughs> That's exactly what. Tell me about it. I like you. I don't know why or how or what to do about it, but I, I like you very much. Dear God above, this is the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. Do not perceive me. Do not perceive, to perceive me. I want to perceive you. It angers me how much I can't hate you. I should, but instead you've done this to me. You've ruined me completely. Yeah, it's my fault. It's my fault. Your problems are my fault. Anyway, cool. Now that that's all said and done, I'm going to go. Time for a long cold shower. What? You didn't bring the phone with you? Oh wait, what are we on? You didn't bring your laptop with you? I wonder if he has a gaming PC. That's what he should have brought to my house. He should have brought a gaming PC. Put it through my window. That would have been sick. Wow, you really said all that and then left? Hey, he's gonna take a shower. Jeez, let him live his life. Come back! You don't need to be so shy. I'm not being shy. Sounds like something a shy person would say. You'll find I'm actually quite forward. Yeah, I found that. A shy person wouldn't be so straightforward about their desires. I'd still call you shy. How so? It took you this long to admit what was obvious. I... And you did it with cheeks that looked like tomatoes. Completely unrelated. <laughs> By the way, since it's somewhat topical, do you ever cut your hair? How is that somewhat topical? You don't like my hair. I'm actually kind of obsessed with it. No, I absolutely do. I'm just curious. It's very long. It must have taken a long time to grow. Don't be one of those people. Oh my gosh, how long have you been growing your hair? It's so long. Stop. I don't. There is no need for me to cut it anyway. I can't imagine you with shorter hair. It's long hair is kind of iconic. I agree. You just keep growing it then? My hair doesn't grow like mortals. Mine has simply always been this way. If someone attacked you with scissors, it wouldn't grow back? Do you plan to attack me with scissors? You're missing the point. No, I wouldn't do that to you. That's just mean. Also, imagine the revenge you'd get on me. So no haircuts for you. I don't want one either. Just putting that out there. Fortunately, I've never offered you a haircut. I'm just making sure you knew not to cut my hair. I'm a reaper, not a hairdresser. Wait a second. You were born with hair that long? Were you born? What? Can't imagine a baby with hair like yours. You misunderstand. I suppose I haven't ever really explained. I was not born, I was never a baby or a child. I was created solely for my purpose as a Grim Reaper. I've always looked the way I do now. Well, when I was born as a Grim Reaper, I was a full grown man skeleton in a suit. And then I became a dog. Oh, what about before you were a Reaper? There was not a before. Well, to be honest, I do not know what was before it is classified even from me. All I know is that we were created somehow, then given our job. That is why I seem to live for my job. I literally do. Could you have been a human once? Maybe they wiped your memories. I could not guess. I suppose it's possible. I have a soul. So it came from somewhere. I'm not totally artificially created, I think. So what happens if you want to quit? I would probably be forcefully terminated. That doesn't sound healthy. Anyway, speaking of hair and all that, I'm going to wash mine now. Still need that cold shower, huh? We'll talk to you later, sunshine. Thank you for answering my confession with how about a haircut, by the way. That's what I was thinking. Why did you go to the hair? 
Like, oh, I'll like you back if you promise not to change your appearance at all. Because you'd be ugly with short hair. What is that about? Oh, yeah, sorry. Tomorrow, Marie. The last day of our bet. Good night. Why do you even like her? <laughs> because you can't kill her? Until tomorrow, Casper. Mm -hmm.